And we can't ever talk to, I mean, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? We, can, we can't have any dramatic, because you, it, it's just, it, you know. Okay. Um, let's do it again. Take two. Give me a little more juice on this mic here. Did you have them turned way down? I just turned yours up, though. So they're all the same level yours I brought up. <laughs> metal, metal plate and stuff. Yeah, that must be it. I'm going to try real hard, okay? <laughs> okay, ready. Shouldn't sit on your leg like that. Why not? Because, well, I, you know, I knew a woman. I'll tell you, this is the truth. Knew a woman. I knew a woman one time person. who sat on a leg like that and a bone popped out of her knee. Oh, my God. I swear to God. Because <laughs> it puts so much pressure you on sure it. You sure the bone not... didn't pop out of your side? you bending your leg? Yeah, but you're putting, you're, you put weight on it when you sit on it. You mean the bottom leg? I yeah. knew a woman sitting like that once and the bone popped out of my pants. No, that's not exactly. <laughs> Thank that's you for sharing, Larry. Oh, that's, that's just great. All right, now, can we do this piece of shit and can, and can the equipment work, do you think? I believe so. This is all very upsetting. Okay, rice lost. All right, Jerry Hall, where? Where do you like to go, honey? Lawdale? I know you know all the little bird places. Um, <clears throat> we'll be, um... We have some places called Yeah. Like that one. They look only for the funny guy. I must... You uh, piggy poo! Well, I just thought you wanted some water, so you did your thing. <laughs> um... So let's, um, this looks about the right length. Yes, I thought you might like it. Short but, and sweet. but let's, uh, how, how long is that, by the way, the Tyson thing? Uh, it's about two and a half. Perfect. Good time. <coughs> let's see, I can get that on. Give me two and a half minutes to think of some other aspect of my life that I'd like to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Blood, blood us up, Lou. I'm ready. <laughs> now, blood this piece of shit up. I got You know, I, I'm running in Brooklyn. <laughs> Nine and a half fucking miles. <laughs> and my nipples. Hey, my nipples were sore. Tim Breyer show on Memphis. All right, are we ready? All the way to Memphis. Come on, you guys. I'm a Savoy here at, um... Okay, I've got the cocktail on. Roll it. <clears throat> Let's get a level on you. Ouch! Ow! Oh, you're sitting on my hair! You gotta, you gotta get a little more... You want it closer like this? Yeah, we'd like to be able... Ouch! Ouch! You'd like to be very close, I know. Well, we want to get some, know, have some presence here. here. So we'll get some level if she gets herself together here. <clears throat> I'm in the morning here at Roses with, um... Roses? Yeah. It's this little Mexican joint over in 48. Is that where you take all your girlfriends? Some of them, yeah. Maybe that's why you have none left. I have plenty left. You do? Not good. Are we ready? All right, yeah. let's go. Now, let's not fuck around. Let's get into this. Let me just ask you one thing. Yes. You're touching me. Yeah. Don't no. ever do that again. Okay. Don't ever touch me again. It makes me queasy, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. What are those little spots on your face over there? What are the spots on your face, by the way? What are those little spots on your face? Let's go. Okay. You're making me stop. Sleep. Just don't touch me again. Stop okay? making. All right. First all of all, right. stop. Right. What's the matter? I'm just shaking my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's starting to believe this shit, Chief. <laughs> I want to ask you one question. You know, you have very, very nice teeth. Thank you so really. much. Really? The old ones were horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I need you so much better because you could take them out to clean them. <laughs> I like that silver one right He in the wants me so much it hurts. All right, now let's do this, you guys. Um, I just wanted to ask you if you want any referrals to her being, you know, models married to Asian rock stars. That's fine. Okay. Why? What's wrong with that? Well, no, I like her, you know, being yeah, part oh, no. of that group. Well, that's fine. Like, it's just on once every six months, and we keep making reference to this bit that maybe... All right, 
I will. That's what no, I'm it's fine. You, honey. No, no, it's fine. fine. It, no, wait. I thought it was a cute fish. Let me you just don't say, have her on a lot. Let me it's fine. Nobody knows. Let Could I wrong. place this on a note, you bitch? <laughs> let me just say this. It's funny anyway. It's funny anyway. What? Is? Just a reference. Yeah, right. Oh, so so it doesn't make any difference if there's a frame of reference. Okay. That's but what just I say it and. Uh, Okay, I'll say it. The bit starts slow anyway. It starts slow and it builds, right? Right. And it gets like it's really... On. It gets really great somewhere. It's sort of like foreplay. Oh, okay. All right, here we go then. Let's do this. <laughs> Very quick. I'm Mr. Barney here at Roses with uh, Mrs. Mick Jagger. Ouch! Oh, you're sitting on my hair! <laughs> Jerry Hall. Oh, honey, can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. Do I have a little spinach in between my teeth? Because <laughs> I hate it when I do that on the radio. Now they get the hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there now? Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah, I have something to say. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she does have something to say. Uh, well, you know, I'm here today on behalf of Models Married to Aging Rock Stars. Right. You know, we have lots of causes, right? Me and Christy Brinkley and Paulina and, and Patty, uh, what's her name? Keith Wack. Yeah. And uh, that little 10 year old Rod Stewart just married. You know, he used to say, you right? <laughs> Anyway, remember we did the concert for the Kurds? Yes, and I do. have a new cause. Now, I don't know if you follow the news, but a few weeks ago, Plaid took over in the fashion world. Plaid? Plaid. Right. And there was a coup in Russia, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nothing major, just some reds trying to make a comeback. Sure. <laughs> It'll be sort of like the equivalent of Nehru jackets trying to replace, like, baseball caps today. <laughs> okay, pick it up, with. Uh, anyway. Now, well, let me just well, keep, the, keep rolling. Okay. Stop looking at me. Just look at the script. <laughs> Just look at the script. Oh, my goodness, you're fine. Yeah. You okay, pick, pick it up with. You probably never kissed first either, did you? <laughs> I just won't look at you at all. Then. <laughs> okay, pick it up with. Nothing major, just some reds trying to make a comeback. The equivalent of Nehru jackets trying to replace baseball caps today. <laughs> yes, it was. Or if you prefer musical metaphors, it'd be sort of like the Dave Clark Five trying to replace Rolling Stones. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bringing back 45s when this is the world of CDs. <laughs> anyway, so, did you see Boris Yeltsin calling for freedom live on the balcony? Yes, I did. Well, you know, he got that crowd so hot, it was like a Grace of Dead concert. <laughs> I mean, he didn't have to wear yellow lace and show his butt like Prince or nothing. No, he didn't. I swear, he'd make a great front man for the Stones if Nick's nips start to sag. <laughs> anyway, what with Yeltsin being the latest Soviet rock star? Right. Where does that leave poor Gorby? Well, I don't know. Well, models married to aging rock stars want to give him a new role. Mm -hmm. We want to find him something on TV. And we thought, since he was such a great go-between when he negotiated the last never-signed union treaty, mm -hmm. he could host Love Connection instead of Chuck Woolery. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think I think he'd be great. Or you know that show, you know, Jake and the Fat Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Man. Yeah. And raise up. You know, he's so concerned with uh, legality, that word. What is it? Zakonos? He's so obsessed with that word. I can see you know that word, too. Glasnost? No, Zakonost. Zakonost. <laughs> but I'm not going to look at you when I say that. Zakonost. <laughs> it means, like, legality, okay? Okay. So anyway, we thought maybe you're... he could be on L.A. Law. Let me just say this. I'm rambling. No, you're <laughs> rambling and you lost me. You said it was going to get funnier. It's not funnier. <laughs> well, it's sort of a subtle humor. <laughs> so subtle. Well, it was good up to a point, but it's time to sit on your hair again. All right, I'll, I'll put on my hair and get out, okay? Um, okay, so how about I get out after Chuck, Chuck Woolery? I have a few more suggestions. What are they? They are, he could be on L.A. Law, Raiza too. She could play a lesbian, which I want to mention with a new accent on it, because they are not all the same. Uh, Mine too. You? <laughs> Martin Bertolova. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Fine. Uh, but not funny. <laughs> I'll move along. <laughs> no, no we're, no, we're fine. Let me see. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm still picturing you and Martina and I were delighted. Okay. Let me hear. Let me let me hear how that sounds there because I think we lost something there. It's it's underneath. Okay, here's the pickup. Major, just 
Just some red trying to make a comeback. <laughs> With the equivalent of Nehru jackets trying to replace baseball caps with <laughs> Or if you prefer musical metaphors, it'd be like Dave Clark's five trying to replace the Rolling Stones. <laughs> you know, I mean, trying to bring back 45s in a world of CDs. That really would be more of an analogy, wouldn't it, than a metaphor? <laughs> oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, you're so I love you, Radio God. Educate me. Well, anyway, did you see Yeltsin calling for freedom live on that balcony? Oh, hey, yeah, he stood up that crowd like it was a Grateful Dead concert. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he didn't have to gyrate in yellow lace and show his butt like Prince does. No, he didn't. I swear he'd make a great front man for the Rolling Stones if Nick's lips start to sag. <laughs> anyway, what would Yeltsin be in the lady latest... Pick up. Anyway, what would Yeltsin be in the latest Soviet rock star? Where does that leave poor Gorby? Is Mick a homosexual? <laughs> Are you interested? No, I just wondered. I mean, just... Why do you wonder? Well, I just keep hearing these things about him, Nuriyev, David Bowie. I mean... He never felt like one to me. No, I, I don't suppose he did. Of course, you hear different things from most people, don't you? Yes, I do. You live in sort of a world of your own. It's the drug residue. <laughs> <laughs> it's All those years of debauchery, it catches up with a man. Yes, it does. <laughs> but I guess we can see that pretty clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to attack me here, no, do you? No, honey, I would never want to do that. Oh, okay. I love you. Well, let's pick it up with... Uh... I love every little fold on your neck. <laughs> I do. I do. Let's pick it up with... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Gorby thing. Okay. Where were we? Gorby was going to do what now? Anyway, what would Yeltsin be in the latest Soviet rock star? Where does that leave for Gor Gorby? Sorry. Anyway, what would Yeltsin be in the latest Soviet rock star? Where does that leave poor Gorby? Oh, I don't know. Well, he needs a new role. <laughs> and models married to Asian rock stars for Gorby want to help him find something on American TV. <laughs> like we thought, you know. Since he was such a great go-between when he negotiated the last never signed union treaty, mm -hmm. well, he could host Love Connection instead of, <laughs> instead of Chuck Woolery. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Dom DeLuise uh, on Candid Camera, right. well, he could be the new Alan Fund. <laughs> Let's face it, he can relate to being humiliated in front of the world. <laughs> Ouch, you're sitting on my head. Andrew. Jerry Hall here on the, well, not on the Agnes Morning Program. Just next to him. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <clears throat> now, leave all that shit in about his mix of homo and all that, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. 